All right, so let's uh, continue our discussion with rounding. Now I want us to take the number negative 948, and I want to round this to the nearest. Let's round this to the nearest 10. So in order to round, we look for the number that's in the indicated spot. In this case, the nearest 10. So let's, actually, let's do this. Here's negative 948. To the nearest 10 means we're looking right here. That's the 10 spot. Remember, we look immediately to the right. So by looking to the number that's to the right, does that mean I'm going to round up or down? Since this is 5 or greater, I'm going to round up. So take this number that you see in front of it. See that as a 94, and if you were to round up, that becomes what? That becomes 95, right? OK, so to the nearest 10 means that this would be negative 950. Okay, We are rounding a negative number, so we will keep that negative sign there as part of our answer. What if I round this to the nearest to the nearest hundred? I want to round negative nine hundred forty-eight to the nearest hundred. So where's my hundred spot? The hundred spot is the nine. So I look immediately to the right of that, and I see a four. Is that a number that I'm going to round up or round down? round down. Now when we say round down, that really means that what we see in front of it <coughs> doesn't change, right? Don't think that round down means it goes down a number. It just means that it doesn't get to go up. So when I round this to the nearest 100, what does it become? It becomes negative 900. You all agree with that? And what if I round this to the nearest thousand? So here's my number, negative 948. What number or what digit do I have in the thousand spot? Tim says zero. Right, because this is ones, tens, hundreds, so thousands would be right here, but I don't see anything. So I look at the 9, is that going to make me round up or down? So since this is, you can imagine that there's a 0 right here. I'm going to have to round this 0 up, so I round to the nearest 1,000, and I have what? Negative 1,000. You know what, if you are not sure about this, imagine what this would look like on the number line. If you've got 0 right here, Negative 1,000 is out here on the left. Negative 948 would be right about here. Actually, I mean, it's be a lot closer to negative 1,000 than what I'm showing it. But you can see that it's going to be a lot closer to the negative 1,000 as opposed to the zero thousands, right? And we wouldn't really say zero thousands, would we? We would just say what? Zero, right? We don't want to sound weird. No, we, we save that for our email and our text communications, right? That's when we want to sound weird. LOL. OK. So you guys OK with these answers we have here? So on the test, when I say round to a specific place value, you can do that without even batting an eyelash, right? OK. Uh, let's do this one more time. Let's round 6 million. 985,141 to the nearest, let's say to the nearest thousand. So, where's my thousand spot? The five is my thousand, so if I round to the nearest thousands, what do I have? It's going to be, it's going to round down, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to keep everything else here. So I have 6,985,000, like that, right? OK, 
Okay, what if I round to the nearest <coughs> less you? Now all of YouTube knows that you sneezed. If I round to the nearest hundred thousand. Hmm. Tell you what, let's let's do this. If I look at this number, let me go ahead and write this guy again for you. What digit is in the hundred thousand spot? Nine. So I look immediately to the right of that. Is this eight going to make me round up or down? So if I take the number that I see here in front, which is 69, if I round that up, what would it round up to? Seven. So when I add 1 because I'm rounding up, it becomes a 70. So I guess let's do this. So that stuff is going to become 70 like that, right? And then everything else after is going to become what? It's going to become the zeros. So when I round to the nearest 100,000 on this number, the next 100,000 that I have is actually 7 million. Do you all agree? All right.